is it? Goes. Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? What next? Snake. Hey, you're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? Oh, I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy this moment. <laughs> What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to battle with you. What is it? Revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. <laughs> All right then. Watch from your box seat. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again.
remember me now. It can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. Is it over? is Grey Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You yourself, in Zanzibar land. Yes. He should have been killed, but he's still alive. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar land. And that was Grey Fox? But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I've ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Grey Fox after that? The record said he died in an accident. I see. But even if that ninja is Grey Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. You're saying he's just living off his will to fight? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again, I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Mm -hmm. I'd rather not, but maybe that's what he wants. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform's different from theirs. You're the Metal Gear Rex chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh. So you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh. Well, at least you're not one of them. Hmm. Are you hurt? Uh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. 
I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Liar! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't oh. know? Aren't they just trying to use the TMD missile module to launch a disabled nuclear warhead? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. Uh, no, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know. No. All the armament was built by a separate department. And the President personally supervised the final assembly with the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all, I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So, this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... No. I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is, my grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But in the end, I was the one being used. Using science for peace? That's only an anime. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower. But it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the base's control room. You'd better hurry. 
If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by Kodak. How am I supposed to escape from an island? <sighs> okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good, but I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl. The engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is. Over there. Oh no. Damn, they spotted me. Meryl, what happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... she was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you. What's wrong? You are all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I, uh, just glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. Your bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otakon. Otakon? It stands for Otaku Convention. An otaku is a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. Yeah, that's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Sounds like an excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has progressed because there is war. And because of scientists' greed, weapons of mass destruction were born. But that's all over. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. 
I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. Unless you maneuver a remote-controlled missile, the faster it will fly. Remember this if you want to fire the missile over a greater distance. Well, it looks like you've rescued Emmerich for the time being. Yeah. With that stealth camouflage, he should be able to hide safely. Gray Fox. I can't believe it. But the real problem is your niece. The way the Kodak got cut off like that has me worried. Something must have happened to her. You're worried? About Meryl? Not exactly. It's just that she's holding the detonation code override keys. They're our last chance of stopping that nuclear launch. You're a cold man. Your mission is more important than the life of your companions? This is war. Survival is the name of the game. Sometimes you have to be cold to survive. Yes, but... Snake! Either way, I want you to find Meryl as soon as possible. I understand. People who have been through war and survived develop a kind of sixth sense to warn them of danger. Trust your instincts as a soldier, as a gamer. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Salad Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the Colonel mentioned. That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the Nuclear Emergency Search Team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon. The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. 
Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. Snake, there's an old Chinese saying. A scholar who cherishes the love of comfort is not fit to be deemed a scholar. Einstein said it another way. He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. That's why I entered MIT instead of CMU or Princeton like my friends. I wanted to do applied physics, not just theoretical stuff. I wanted to make things for people. The Soliton Radar System, or the Codex System. I just wanted to make something that would be useful for people. I think that it was the same for Dr. Emmerich, too. But he was used like a tool. He used to make a horrible killing machine. Maybe it would be better if engineers like us just stopped making things. I don't know. No, you're wrong. There's at least one person whose life has gotten better as a result of your inventions. Me. Huh? Without the Kodak, I wouldn't be able to talk to you like this. Thanks, Snake. What can I do for you, Snake? Good luck, Snake! You still haven't found Meryl? Snake, she's dressed up like one of the terrorists. She won't be able to reveal herself if other soldiers are around. You'll have to find somewhere you can be alone with her. Even dressed like that, she's all woman. You see? Isn't there somewhere only a woman can go? Don't move. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. <clears throat> You're Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. 
I had no idea you were so... feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. <laughs> Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I'm a fan of Foxhound way back, when guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a guy who can only find meaning on the battlefield. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right. And you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield, the only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You can't stop loving war. Is it the same for all soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? <sighs> My Kodak was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? Anyway, how did you recognize me in disguise? Uh, I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Butt? Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So, Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear, or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Now, where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. I heard that Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north of here. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I've always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father, he was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. 
I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. And so, you became a soldier. I thought I was, until today. But now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself. Afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know... Take a good look. You won't be seeing mirrors for a while. There won't be any chances to wash your face, either. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. You lose, you die a dog's death. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Uh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Now you treat me like a woman? Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level 5. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. It looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. Strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? Uh. What? What is it? Why are you staring at my... Come on, Snake. Don't stare at me like that. <laughs> what are you doing? We've got to get a move on. What? What is it?
Okay. Let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Meryl's not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. It's not your only trick. You! You doubt my power! Now, I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world! No, there's no need for words, Snake. I am... Psychomantis! That's right! This is no trick. It's true power. It's useless. I told you, I can read your every thought. You are a very methodical man. The type that always kicks his tires before he leaves. You are a highly skilled warrior. Well suited to this stealth mission. You are extremely careful of traps. You are either very cautious, or you are a coward. Still don't believe me? Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. No saved games. Your memory is completely clean. You have not saved very often. You are somewhat reckless. I can read you like an open book. You still don't believe. 
believe me? I will show you my psychokinetic power. Put your controller on the floor. Put it down as flat as you can. That's good. Now, I will move your controller by the power of my will alone.
Your niece is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off. Right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake? Or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that does not mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so, but I will read your future. To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base, you have to go through the hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. <sighs> the Overland Route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers, then use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the pasts, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed. It was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way, and that is why there is war. But you are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth, and he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> We are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just want an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen true evil. Snake, seeing you calms my soul. You're like the boss. No, worse. Compared to you, I'm like a saint. I 
read her mind as well. Merrills. I saw you there. You have a large place in her heart. A large place. And getting bigger. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind. Before I die, I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl. How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're going to doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Don't regret your past. Learn from it. Regrets just make a person weaker. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? More complaints? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering... What? What's the problem now? Oh, no. Nothing. So tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone, just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on, let's go.
Could there be wolves in here? Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. How do you know so much? I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. Those are wolf dogs in there. 
just like their name. They're a cross between Huskies and Alaskan Wolves. They were bred to be used as sled dogs. They were trying to create an animal that would combine the gentleness of a dog with the endurance and ferocity of a wolf. But they didn't get the stamina and power they were hoping for. On top of that, their personalities wound up closer to wolves. Most of them won't even let you get close. That's why they never caught on. Oh, that's right. You're a musher. Yeah. And after they outlawed the use of hybrids in dog sled races, no one even tried to breed them anymore. I heard that most of them were put to sleep after that. Yes. But some of the wolf dog pups that were thrown away went wild. I've heard that wild wolf dogs hunt in packs, just like wolves. Better be careful. What's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. <laughs> This place is mine. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar isn't working, and since we can't use the mine detector either... <gasps> Leave it to me. So what do you think? Pretty good, huh? How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well, a little bit. Only a little?
Don't worry, Meryl. It's me they want. <laughs> Even I know that. It's the oldest trick in the book. The sniper's using me for bait to lure you out. Damn! Shoot me, Snake. No. My gun. I can't reach it but myself. Don't move! I promised I wouldn't slow you down. I... I can still help. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. Meaningless. Nothing comes out of war. Snake, please, save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Don't forget what I said. Meryl! Colonel? Damn! Snake! It's a trap! A sniper's trick to lure you out! The sniper's waiting for you to go to help Meryl so he can pick you off! Don't do it! It must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. Doesn't matter to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. I'm going to save Meryl, no matter what it takes. Okay. Thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Don't you know? There's a tendency toward murder written in your very genes. So saving someone else's skin is out of the question? I wouldn't go that far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Like an animal? I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm going to save Meryl for myself. Colonel? Don't worry. Snake, thanks. I understand. I'm sorry.
What's that? Uh. there.
anybody there?
percent re- What is it? Wolf. She's... Well, just forget it.
Your soliton radar. I know. I can't use it in a narrow space like this, right? Right. I'm sorry. No reason to apologize. Even the greatest masterpiece has its flaws. Chinese say it is the strong swimmer who most often drowns. It's because the strong swimmer overestimates his abilities and underestimates the strength of the river. You're probably quite used to the mission now, but don't get careless. Ah. Ah. Ooh. 